So I know I'm going to catch some heat for this podcast, pushing this vlog up there to the archives. But um, I had in my notes here and following up on some comments, I, I feel like we need to balance things out a little bit with some narrative. A couple of weeks back, I asked the question, the worst troop choice in 40K. I also asked and we explored the best troop choice in 40K with a rough argument for both. And, of course, look, there's going to be a little bit of bias in there. You've got your army. You love the narrative. You love what you're playing. That is going to influence your perspective. And I offered my perspective for the best troop choice. But there were a couple of other really amazing suggestions, and you can check that out in my 40K archive up on my channel here. There was an argument that was made for Dire Avengers as one of the better troop choices. That's there. And, and I have to say, I agree they're an excellent choice, and I have to say, looking at all the factors and comparing things, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much true. That's pretty much spot on. So I was in agreement with a lot. But now we got to look at the narrative. So, yes, absolutely, I want to win my 40K game. Yes, I want it to be very dynamic. But if I'm taking, uh, this is just kind of my perspective, if I'm taking time out of real life, you, my opponent, my friend, you're taking time out of your real life. And, and for me, this is probably time better spent like on like real adulting, real life responsibilities. But if we're going to do this, I, I want it to be memorable. I want to try and create a narrative on the table. I want to have good terrain. I want to have a good setup. I want to have music going. If you step back from the table or if we're at a store and you come in and you see the table, I want you to be like, wow, I don't know what this game is. But I'm in. I'm done. I'm ready to commit. Like, that's the type of, of excellency that we strive for. And, you know, it doesn't always quite work out. So I try to get in to my army, literally on there. And that's why I say when, not to hijack this, this vlog, when you're thinking about your first or second or next 40K army, um, yes, look into how it plays. Yes, look into the, the power level of it, although whether it's Tier 1, 2, or 3, Games Workshop is always mixing things up. But fall in love with the army, whether it's the models, whether it's the narrative, because you are going to be painting, building, and playing that army through literal years. Um, my Samhan Warhost, I have been playing since 2007. I've won many events. I've won many um, awards tactical awards on it there just just videos and playing and everything with that game a, a lot of defeats too a lot of really crazy crushing defeats on there big games small games going to conventions um playing with friends that i've had a chance to meet on youtube the emotional history of this army at now at this point is greater than anything and in a way that army was a literal vehicle for me to meet and make friends and have a great time with people that I would not meet day to day. I would not meet in my, my boring kind of day to day life on there. It is, it is vehicle literally to another world. So that's why I say you got to love your army. You got to love what you play. That's not to say you don't play it for a while and start a second army, but, but you know where I'm going with that on there. So that leads us to this question the most boring troop choice. I mean, I can get pumped. I, I get pumped with my Cornate Berserkers because we're taking losses, we're running up, and now I'm in place. I'm going to charge. I'm going to put you to the bolt pistol and chainsword. I see that happening in my mind. Um, I see my Harlequins getting ready to charge in. You know, I, I see um, my Space Marines just, just blasting things away, the Land Raiders just shooting from a distance, the Grey Knights charging out, taking the field. I mean, that's I can see my miniatures moving on there. I don't know. Maybe that's the role-playing aspect. So I literally want to be in there, in the game. But the most boring troop choice. And, and I say troop choice because for m most of us, that's a significant commitment and a significant part of the army. My vote, and, and it, it pains me to do this, not space bugs, Necron Warriors. Necron Warriors, just, um, I understand they're kind of undead in space. I understand that um, they're kind of um, automatons with how they operate on there. But I, I feel like the direction that Games Workshop has, is take, has tried to take them in 
the way that they've completely rewritten the Necron backstory. I mean, at this point, it's been canon for a number of years. But previously, it was the idea that the Overlord, the, the Necron Lord, excuse me, the Necron Lord was the hierarchy of the Tomb World. And it was a fragmented, almost like a, um, a lich, you know, a robotic lich. And the idea behind the Necron Warriors is they were legions and legions and legions. So they had no personality, but they made that up in just the rank and file of, of I guess, like space Romans, although that's Ultramarines on there. So that personality wasn't so much in the model, but it was in the army. Um, now, yes, thankfully, absolutely, Necrons have become more dynamic, um, a lot of great new units, um, new different play styles of playing. But I feel like that they've tried to make the army faster and more hit and run. Uh, if I had to compare, almost like a dark Eldar type feeling that's out there. And by not having any personality whatsoever, by not having any personality whatsoever in these, these Necron troop choices, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit, feels a little bit different on there. Uh, immortals, I can certainly get behind. You know, it's like the Immortals in 300. Just, you know, send in the Immortals. That, that, that has more of a personality on there. So your perspective, your vote, I'm curious to see where. Worst troop choice in 40K in terms of being just boring, bland, no personality in the grimdark, you know, narrative out there. Your vote, 